All right, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I recently made a video about data loading using Workbench and I actually used a CSV file that I had generated uh, to insert some data. And in this video, I wanna show you how I generated that fake data because there are oftentimes, especially as a developer or someone who's trying to learn how to use Salesforce using a developer org, you need to actually generate more data for yourself because the data that comes with the org is uh, pretty minimal and it's not necessarily useful if you're trying to learn how to do queries or maybe you've built a trigger and you want to test it and so you need to insert a lot of records at once. Uh, there's a lot of different scenarios when you might need test data. Uh, so I want to show you how I make test data using a tool called Mockaroo that's extremely useful. Um, and that's it. Without any further ado, let's just get started. All right, so I'm going to go to my browser and I have it bookmarked, but the URL is just mockaroo.com. And this is the tool we're going to use to generate our data, obviously. And here's how I set up a schema. Uh, I can choose these different fields to add, and I'm going to add a bunch of different fields and change them around now. So I'm going to make a lead model. I have first name, last name, email, phone, um, and I'm just going to name the different columns at this point, company, website, and let's do industry. Okay, now I need to choose the type of data that correlates. So for phone, I'm going to search for a phone number. There we go. For company, I'll just search company. I'll put fake company name. And for website, um, I'm searching web, not coming up, site, not coming up. Uh, I need to search, I think, URL. There we go. And that'll generate a URL for me. And industry. And that's it. So I've set those up. I have some options. I can leave things blank, etc. And I can choose the number of rows. Uh, I'm going to make 777. And I'm going to preview that data. So. Here, if I click preview, I can look at a table or a CSV, and I'm just going to look at the table because it's, uh, it's easy for me to understand. And everything looks good. It looks like uh, these are going to make some good fake leads for my system. And I'm going to download that data. So it takes a few seconds, but it'll download a, a file called mockdata.csv. Now, if I open that up with my Excel, I can see the CSV it's generated. And I can see all those different columns and all the different records it's created. So let's make this a little easier to see. Um, there we go. There's all my data, and I have my various columns. And I want to add actually one more column, because we always need lead source when we insert leads into Salesforce. So I'll make a column called lead source, and I'll give it a value called purchased list. And then it's going to be the same for all of them. So I'm going to copy that to all of my rows. And there we go. So doing a little bit of manipulation within Excel here, uh, I can see I have all my rows there. And it looks like I'm all set. All right, so there we go. Super easy. There's a lot of different functionality that's available within Mockaroo, uh, especially if you make an account or if you sign up and pay a little bit more. Um, this isn't a sponsored video. I don't work with or for Mockaroo. It's just a tool that I find useful. Um, and hopefully if you guys find it useful, you can maybe generate some of your own data and that can help you in your process of learning Salesforce. So just wanted to make this quick video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, if it was helpful, consider subscribing, leaving a thumbs up. I make new videos every single week about Salesforce. Um, and yeah, looking forward to hearing any feedback from you guys in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.